Let's take a look how to make this Y2K Chrome text effect in Illustrator and Adobe Dimensions. I'm going to start in Illustrator and I'm going to go to the 3D materials, go to Inflate, decrease the depth to zero and click on Inflate both sides. Now let's go to the Asset Export. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows and select Asset Export. And all you need to do is just drag and drop the typo right here. Make sure it's on GLTF. You can select it here. Click on export and export it wherever you want. Click on select folder. Now I already have this saved, so I'm gonna go to replace. Now we're gonna open up Adobe Dimensions and I'm gonna click on the camera and let's go to the rotation, type in zero, the Y is zero again and the Z also is zero. Now let's go to the GLTF file location and just drag and drop the asset right here. And we're gonna scale this up. I'm gonna click on the link here to link it and from here you can scale it. I also gonna create a plane. Let's select the plane here and I'm gonna scroll out so it's right here and I'm gonna position it right under the text, right under somewhere here. Now we're gonna need to rotate the plane, go to the rotation X and I'm gonna type in here 90 degree angles. Let me do it again, there you go. And I'm just gonna place it up. And I'm going to pull this little square at the Z axis and this way is going to make it wide. And now I'm going to go to the X axis. Now pull the magenta square and you're going to make it wide. Also press one and with this you can rotate it. And now you can see it's more in the opposite side. So I'm going to need to select it. Let's select the selection tool and I'm going to bring the plane in. And I'm going to zoom in. Let's see how it looks. So as you can see, these thin lines get really jagged, by the way, when you inflate them. Unfortunately, this is how you can make this in Adobe Dimensions. This is not an advanced 3D tool, so mainly this is what it can do. But I'm going to leave it like this. Now I'm going to select the plane. I'm going to click on the color. Let's select the color for it. I'm going to go with white. Let's select the typo. And I'm going to collapse the models and here we got the metal. Drag and drop the metal here at the asset one. And look at that. We got the chrome effect. I also going to activate the ray tracing here. So it's going to make it look realistic. And from here, all you need to do is just collapse the materials here and here. And you can select a light source and switch it up. Also make sure that you're on the environment. Click on here. And I'm going to select the studio panels light. And this is it. And this is how the final render looks like. This was it. Thanks for watching.